Time Lords usually had a limited cycle, 12 regenerations, consisting of 13 incarnations, after which they would suffer permanent death, TV, the deadly assassin, Doctor Who, the time of the Doctor, except insofar as their minds, uploaded to the Matrix, lived on as Matrix Lords. Pros. The legacy of Gallifrey. On occasions, the Doctor gave other numbers as the length of the basic Time Lord regeneration cycle. The fourth Doctor told Romana that Time Lords had 90 lives, and that he had already gone through, about 130 inches of them. TV, the creature from the pit, the fifth Doctor, while in a state of confusion, later claimed the same thing. Audio. Cold Fusion. The eleventh Doctor told Clyde Langer that he could regenerate 507 times. TV. Death of the Doctor. As with most such rules, there were occasional exceptions to the 12 regeneration limit. Although Razalon had originally found the 12 regeneration cap to be absolute, forcing him to retreat into the Matrix as a disembodied mind to survive his final death. Pros. The legacy of Gallifrey, the High Council, at later points in history, was capable of offering Time Lords a new lease of life in the form of a new regeneration cycle. The Council offered the Tremor's Master a new regeneration cycle if he rescued the various incarnations of the Doctor from the Death Zone. TV. The Five Doctors. Although he did not receive this award on that occasion, later in his life, he was resurrected by the Time Lords. Audio. Eyes of the Master. TV. Utopia. As part of a deal they made with a future version of himself. Audio. Day of the Master. And was able to regenerate on at least three more occasions. Comic. Fast Asleep. TV, Utopia, Dark Water. It was indicated that the Master possessed at least one more regeneration after this as he told his future self, don't bother trying to regenerate, after mortally wounding her with his laser screwdriver. TV, The Doctor Falls. The Time Lords also granted the Eleventh Doctor a new cycle of regenerations before he could die for the final time, having used up all twelve of his regenerations in his first cycle. TV, The Time of the Doctor, The Twelfth Doctor, TV, Kill the Moon. The Master, TV, The Doctor Falls, and even Razalon himself were uncertain as to how many regenerations the Doctor now possessed. TV, Hellbent. Aside from being granted a new cycle, there were other ways to gain regenerations. Having used up all of his natural regenerations, the Master was able to gain an extra one by using the Source to merge with Tremors. TV, The Keeper of Traken, undergoing a regeneration into a new body. Audio, The Light at the End then later gaining another regeneration after being cured by Zoom Nanites. Pros. First Frontier. However these artificial means of adding regenerations was not permanent and eventually the master reverted back to his decayed self. Audio. Planet of Dust. The spy master's discoveries about the timeless child in the Matrix suggested that the child had originally possessed more regenerations than the typical twelve, and that it had been the second Tekchen's decision when the founder had shared the genetic gift of regeneration with his people, to limit the common folk's regenerations to a maximum of twelve times. The master believed that the child had later become the doctor, who had gone through a number of lives which even he couldn't even guess at. TV. The Timeless Children. 